Yo, what is up, guys? So we're here to check out the new Thunder Dragons in action. I like how they have sample over the names. <laughs> but uh, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and check out what they do. So we got a first turn, uh, Chidori, as well as a Needle Fiber, I guess, from his opponent. He's going to go ahead and activate that effect to discard and add a Bolt Thunder Dragon from his deck to his hand. So cycling through some cards, going for more meta build here with, of course, the Sky Strikers, which... I mean, it kind of does work well in the deck because one of the cards lets you just banish anything. Allure of Darkness is at 3, and these cards, guys, they all get effects when they're actually uh, banished, as well as they all have, like, some type of discard effect. Looks like we're going straight to... Wait, we're going with double boss monsters? Wow, okay, this is a little bit fast here. I can't even commentate. Oh my gosh. Well, it is a chaos based deck uh, looks like he's just gonna go into wonder magician to draw another card but dude and this is insane dude i turn around for one second to explain one card and the game's already over wow wow i mean the guy didn't have any real back row plus i mean someone's gonna be like dude he's playing black ones or he still had double monsters uh and then on top of that he uh, in addition to that got rid of the card anyways because it doesn't matter because one of the effects is where uh anytime you uh, activate a uh, monster effect for, uh, from the, I think it might have to be a thunder effect. Well, well, we'll talk a little bit more about it when we see some more replays, all right? But yo, Magus, thank you, by the way, for sending it in these plays. But uh, anyways, looks like he's also playing some of the thunders because they are all about thunders. It doesn't have to be actually the thunder dragons. We'll go ahead and swap sides of the field. But uh, I mean, Brandish, oh wow, he's already activating lose a turn. So uh, that card actually can't go into defense mode, but it's going to definitely showcase off if the deck can handle being a little bit slower so he's gotten lose a turn and he's gotten solemn plus he's gotten regular solemn but he's got the thunder dragon fusion it's gonna move into defense mode but he's able to still keep a monster out on the board it looks like he's is he, uh, he's actually playing the new thunder because like i said guys you can actually mix it up with a lot of different things so he's boosting it up in watts wow he got pranked by his own- wow, that actually works on your opponent's card effects too? Wow, that's insane. I didn't actually know that. This actually kind of counters hand traps, guys. So, um, what this card does is anytime a, uh, thunder monster effect is activated in the hand, which could be your opponent's as well, as a quick effect, you can destroy one card in the field. And if this card would be destroyed, uh, by a card effect, you can banish two cards from a graveyard instead. That's why I was saying before, where the Sky Strikers actually make this quite more viable, uh, to play them because you're just going to get free extra spells in the grave, right? Uh, but uh, we see the trade inactivated. Oh, Thunder Dragon. Ad He's playing the old school. Okay, this is interesting here. Going for, of course, the Hornet Drones for free. Extra draw power. Dude, this card is so unfair. Is it not unfair? I mean, come on, man. These should have been once per turn. So let's admit that. But he's just going to get a bunch of tokens out. Gonna go ahead and summon Sura Yuji. Look at this, dude. What is Yu-Gi-Oh! But come, dude, who, who needs Pot of Greed when you can draw four cards and cycle through some of the ones? We got uh, Lenovia over here. I was mentioning how this card would be actually quite good in the deck. I mean, look at this. I mean, I, I know this is probably not the most meta of decks when it comes to Pendulums, but um, keep in mind, guys, uh, he's able to make it so... Uh, where is it, this one? Uh, it's like, uh, I think it's this one over here. Uh, your opponent, they can't add cards from either player's deck to the hand except for drawing them. So there's like no searching at all. If your opponent is playing a deck where they need to search cards, well, I'm sorry. That's not going to happen. That is actually really dirty. Plus, whenever you're activating an effect, you're just going to pop a card. Now, with that Magical Citadel, he's able to go ahead and protect it because uh, whenever it would be destroyed. I mean, there's just some boss monsters. Now, the real question is, does the deck have consistency? I don't know. With three Alert of Darknesses, I hope the deck is consistent. Man, that was a quick little showcase of the deck. I mean, those are three replays. This, each replay is probably under a minute because I was talking. But uh, anyways, I'm going to give you guys the deck profile as was sent in by Magus. Now, this one I want to say is more of a pure build. Perhaps we can maybe... Uh, well, I mean, it is... It's got Chaos Monsters in it, and it's got the Sky Strikers in it. But I would say it's pretty pure, to be honest. But you also have, in combination, Thunder King Ryo, which can definitely definitely destroy other people's decks because this card is technically still a thunder uh monster and plus uh activating this effect of the origin thunder dragon um being able to target any thunder monster which thunder king is you can boost it up by 500 extra attacks so they won't be able to run over thunder king perhaps as easy therefore you would not need to tribute it to get the uh special summon monster to go away you could just have them run into it and you surprise them with that uh but Obviously, with the fusion monster, it kind of has Thunder King's effect anyways. 
but that's the way I see it. Um, but anyways, if you guys want the deck profile, I'm going to give it to you guys as is the one that you guys saw. So maybe you can kind of use it as a reference here. Now, interesting to see he is playing uh, multiple copies of the old school Thunder Dragon. And I'm actually kind of curious if this card has gone up in price simply due to, of course, people wanting to play the new Thunder Dragons. Uh, I don't know if it's that necessary. I definitely think the Allure of Darkness uh, combination is good, but... Um, Pretty cool stuff indeed. So he's, he's playing double BLS, double Lenovia. He's playing uh, two copies of Aeon Thunder Dragon. Actually, I, I did type to the cover all of their effects in a video that I definitely uh, uploaded, uh, yeah, I want to say it was like yesterday, uh, that we talked all about the new Thunder Dragons. But uh, anyways, um, I don't know if I went over this one. Uh, but uh, anyways, you special number of banishing a light and dark, then once per turn, if a monster effect is activated that's in the hand against the random attack, uh, and then when this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you get to banish one card from your graveyard and a thunder monster from your deck to your hand. Once per turn, during your opponent's end phase, you get to target uh, one of your banished cards, place it on the top. Okay, I did actually go over this card. It's just the artwork, I guess, looks a little bit more HD. And then we have the Bestial Thunder Dragon, so you can discard it to add to your hand one Thunder Dragon card that is banished or in your graveyard. So you guys can see the deck definitely has some consistency here. And then we have Avian Thunder Dragon. Um, and then you can discard to special one of your uh, Thunder Dragon monsters that is banished or in your graveyard except for itself. And then uh, we've got the uh, old school Thunder Dragon. And then we have the Bolt Thunder Dragon, which lets you add another copy. So it just lets you kind of set up your graveyard and add a little bit of consistency, add a little bit of speed to your deck. Uh, but what's funny with this is Thunder King kind of stops them. So it's almost like they kind of built in a floodgate. It's like, go summon a bunch of your monsters, as you guys saw, and then you lock your opponent out of even going for anything. So this is definitely going to be a very nasty deck to run the turn one. Especially with the Phantom of Sky Blast, which also happens to be dark, gives you those tokens. Pretty good stuff indeed. And then we have the Origin Thunder Dragon that boosts it up. And then if this card is banished or sent from the field to the graveyard, you get to add any, uh, Origin Thunder Dragon, for, oh, I guess it's the same copy of itself, from your deck to your hand, and then you can only use this effect once per turn. But being able to um, cycle through these, and it's just free extra cards, and it's got a 2,000 defense point. Wish it was a tuner, though, because it is level 1. Uh, but uh, anyways, three copies of Lurkas, obviously you're going to try to get those banished effects uh, from those monsters. Then we have the Tradens, because um, I guess we're playing some cards that could potentially be a little cloggy here, and the deck has got some consistency and extra draw power definitely makes it nice. Obviously, throwing in the Sky Strikers is going to make the deck really good. And then we have Thunder Dragon Fusion, which is the, the card that, I mean, his opponent activated lose a turn, he activated a Solemn, and he just was not letting his opponent, uh, or in this case, the uh, Thunder Dragon player would really go for anything, but obviously Thunder Dragon Fusion was there. And then we have three copies of Brandish Mecha Hornet bit, and then three copies of Thunder Dragon Streamer, which uh, makes it so your Thunder Monsters effects cannot be negated, so pretty much you're safe to go on this. And then once per turn, if a Thunder Dragon monster is normal or special, you can target one spell trap and uh, trap on the field, banish one Thunder Monster from your deck, which is going to give you a plus, and then get rid of the spell and trap. It unfortunately does not banish the spell and trap. Wish it did have that effect, but still a good little effect. I'm not sure if I would really consider this card a must-up. Definitely has a lot of potential with, of course, making it so you can't, uh, your opponent can't negate stuff, but at the same time, you'd have to, like, set it up, wait, and usually waiting is not a good idea in Yu-Gi-Oh!, but I, I appreciate, Magus, that you threw it in here, because we want to see the new cards, and we definitely did see, um, pretty much everything in the vid, and it's a fast deck, definitely. I and mean, with Sarah Yuja, just summoned real easy, of course, with the uh, Sky Striker engine. I know some people aren't a fan of Sky Strikers, uh, but it, 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 to be honest, it, it makes like almost every deck good, especially when you can just, be like, oh, just banish two cards, and with all the startup and gauge, it's like free cards for days. Uh, but uh, anyways, yeah, the, the Super Bowl Thunder Dragon, definitely a great card indeed to make it so. Again, you're locking your opponent out from being able to uh, search out their stuff after you go for your big plays so um even if your opponent i guess technically goes first you have that option to go for of course super uh the uh, thunder dragon lord and then whenever you um uh, activate a quick effect which you should be able to do after of course summoning this you might have to activate a few effects before going for it but if you go for this then you activate something else you're able to pop potentially a problematic card and they can't really destroy this card as easy because you can just banish two cards to prevent it from being destroyed by a card effect I think it's an okay archetype, definitely a, a nasty deck, again, turn one. But anyways, 
Um, let me know, guys, if you think this deck is going to be meta or if you think that this deck is just overhyped. Because uh, I, I heard a few people saying that this whole archetype is broken. I don't necessarily think it's broken, but it definitely can feel very discouraging to play against. Again, once it goes for that turn one board and then locks you out via Thunder King or, of course, Super Thunder Dragon. That's a nasty effect. It should be like once per turn. Like, I don't know. That's the way I see it. But um, your opponent just cannot add cards uh, from the either player's deck to the hand, which is kind of interesting. There is technically a card where it's like if your opponent has a specific card, it's like, I think it's like Dark Designator or something. It probably won't ever like come up where your opponent's trying to add a card from the other person's deck to their hand. I don't, like what does that actually stop? I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below. Is there a card that lets you add a card from your opponent's deck to their hand other than like Dark Designator? I think that's like the only one, but I don't even know why they would want to negate that in the first place. Anyways, it doesn't really matter. There might be some other obscure card that uh, makes more sense for, for that uh, card to be more viable, but overall, not too bad of a deck. Definitely has the potential. I'm more interested in honestly the Dino Wrestlers, but <laughs> I know that that's going to be good. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the vid and thank you Magus once again. Shout out to you for uh, sending me in this gameplay. I mean, it, it looks like a super fast deck, but uh, anyways, thanks for watching guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the vid. If you did, drop a like on it. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button to see more Yu-Gi-Oh! content. And if you guys got any cool replays, feel free to go ahead and send them in just like Magus. But thanks for watching and I am Sunny out.